we're gonna try another ironclad run. Let's get it underway. I already did start one off and uh, picked up a bag of preparation, which is a Star Reach Combat, two edition cards, really good combo. Uh, combo enabler. So my strike's still six. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have a very defensive turn next turn. Yeah, I was gonna think, I was thinking there. It's gonna be triple defend. Uh, so that's fine. Um, that does. It does probably mean I should split the damage as much as possible. On the other hand though, let's just get this guy out of here so we don't get a negative effect from him. I think that's usually the right decision. So Frail is less block, which doesn't really matter because he's has done more effects. Okay. Good early game thing to think about with Ironclad in my opinion is actually that uh, we can afford to really take. The likes of taking 8 damage is almost meaningless because we're going to heal for 6 at the end of the turn anyway. Uh, although unfortunately this is not going to do it for me. So this does mean that we need to draw 1 strike. And unfortunately we will be 2 health down, which is not really a big problem, but Iron Wave is a strong card, but it's not. It's not a ridiculous card. Perfected Strike will deal quite a fair bit of damage right now. It'll deal five times, so I'll deal sixteen for two. It's actually not great. Isn't it? In order to make it good, you basically need to fill your deck with total crap that I actually just want to get shot off. These guys I found. Let's just get this effect uh, off them and then defend as much as possible. So I'm thinking this turn I might just double defend. Although I think it is totally valid to go for the uh, the strike defend play as well. I'm going to play it slightly slower and go the double defend route. The reason being is that I'd quite like to heal back to full even though it's uh, not going to be a huge challenge for us anyway. Okay. And uh, strike again, it's pretty meaningless, but we'll just strike for the sake of Next turn, I can see what our draw is going to be. We should still have this guy, absolutely no problem at all. Flame Barrier. Nah, I don't want any of that stuff. Okay. I do want some more offensive cards, especially if we're going to take this elite on. Remove a card, 100%. I think I really wanted the blocks, actually. Right now my deck's weighted towards offense, and I want to keep it balanced at the start until we figure out what the playstyle is going to be. Now, we do actually want to add some cards in before we hit the fire here. I think that's fine, we can take this one. I'd rather not take that. We don't need to heal, so I guess we take a donut, which I just feel pretty neutral about. But it's not a bad effect, so you can't really complain. Uh, it's the trick this guy is just mess him up as quietly as you possibly can. So wait, how much is this going to deal? It's going to deal 17 this turn with 3 versus 18 with that. And this is better because we can actually, even if you do one attack next turn, then this justifies it. He's not going to be killable next turn, so that's worth noting. Um, we do want to get him in the position of being killed next turn. This is surprisingly quite tricky. I'm going to. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have a, a we'll definitely have enough to kill him then next turn. And he'll hit us for six now, but we'll heal for six at the end of the combat, so it doesn't really matter at all. So you're dead. Alright. Don't get these cards. Okay. 
Let's upgrade this uh, this bash that we've got. It's good. Bash plus, strong card. I've still got quite a lot of this floor left, so I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about it. I will say that I would actually let's get some more cards out of our deck and see if we can put a couple more good things in there. Ooh, okay. This is a I think this just lets us get rid of a card. I wanna say we've got nine cards in our deck now. Let's all frustrate. Yeah, so we Oh my god, our deck is so thin. I've <laughs> very rarely been in the position that this is actually the right choice. Uh, and I will say now I regret not taking the uh, the card that we were offered earlier that was actually pretty good. Alright, this uh, Was it to increase your max health? I'm gonna go with that straight. I'm gonna go with the goal of making sure that we. Uh, we do upgrade at this point fire again. Ah, oh, this is the card that I want the most. Now do we take the iron wave? Negate the next two cards should should obtain. Ooh, so we could. That's pretty good synergy. It's a little. Part of me thinks it's a little cute. The other part of me thinks that it's actually quite likely that we'll come across at least one. No, we need to get the fundamentals down here because actually my deck right now is pretty shit. It's a strong card. Zero mana to draw and gain a wee bit of block. Exhaust your hand. Do you think if I used this I'd basically have no deck at all? And I actually think that that's bad. So I guess the question is do we want... We could remove a card and take an iron wave. I think that's the play. Uh, especially because we can just get rid of a defend and add one a card that is essentially a defend and an attack. That's quite nice. Right then, buy some. Fuck off. Okay, let's try and get. Oh, that's we dick. I hate this guy. Don't hit me this turn. See, this is why I hate this guy. Um, go for the. Ooh, ooh, a temptation. Now, we don't want to take any damage if we don't have to. Um, the, a great thing with this deck now, considering we draw additional two cards at the start, would be something that gives us more mana. Yeah, or whatever the fuck it's called in this game. What is it called in this game? Energy. So, we want to strike him. An iron wave. And then we want to defend. And I think next turn we should be able to lethal him. Yeah, we will be able to lethal him. You're the mug here, mate. Oof. Alright, give me give me a good card. I kinda want something in my deck now. Uh, I'll shrug it off is is a great card. Actually, I will definitely take shrug it off. And I will most likely immediately go and upgrade. This is... Iron Wave's a great card. I like Iron Wave. So we have two draws in our deck to get through the whole... to cycle through the entire thing. <laughs> we almost draw our whole deck in the in the first round, which is good because we can see uh, what we're going to get in subsequent turns. Uh, oh fuck, man, that's a lot of damage coming in here. We do have a Shrug Off and an Iron Wave though, so... I don't see really the uh, the need to draw since that's basically our best play. I'm glad that the bash. Oh, it doesn't matter that the bash has actually been put in the discard pile uh, since these guys all negate debuffs anyway. You could have created a good argument, I think, to chuck the fire potion there. Now, do we go for the kill on this guy? And if we do, can we do that? 7, 16, 20 some. I guess we do because I don't really want to get negative stasis effects when we've got such a small deck. And this only involves taking one damage which is really not very bad at all. My view with these enemies are, um, 
the quicker you can kill one, the better. We just could bash and shrug it off. I think that's our best play, because um, even though the bash won't actually affect, the vulnerable won't work, which is a real shame. The shrug it off will... Um, oh, that's that's really good, actually. It is actually just um, getting rid of that. We're going to get more of those in the discard pile, but it shouldn't matter, because I think we should be able to get the kill next turn. That's 13... Nine, oh, we're absolutely not even remotely close, but we may throw the potion. No, we don't need to throw the potion. We'll take one more, I think, here. Where will we? Oh, we're definitely doing this. The question is, do we deal another 6 damage? We are definitely not guaranteed to kill next turn. What would this allow us to get the kill with? Not this. It would be one shy, I think. We need to get two offensive cards to get the, the kill. I think we're gonna we're gonna go for that. Um one damage, I mean. If this doing the, doing it this way could mean that we're denying the attack next turn off this guy. Which is worth eight, so uh, unfortunately we didn't get it, but we will be able to block the turn anyway, so. Predictably we got we got two of the four discard deads that were in our draw pile. Iron Wave's a great card. I'm really glad to have picked up the enhanced version of it. It's just been uh, this fight's been a, a great example of why it's a strong card. Next turn we'll likely please shrug it off and hopefully we'll draw into another aggressive card. That is if he is going aggressive. Yeah he is. So shrug it off is a definite play here. We'll see if we get another strike, which we did. Um, I think it's pretty unlikely we'll get the kill on him next turn. Um, we could do it. Uh, no we couldn't do it. That we just want to go as aggressive as... Oh, no we can't do it. Very close, but... And we are guaranteed the kill next turn. Just thinking, yeah, there, there was a way that if this wasn't a strike and this was, say, a block, that we could have drawn absolutely nothing and, and not had a way to win. We play a power, heal two. I'm not a big fan of power cards, and... I mean, that is a power card. When you play a power heal too, lose one, deal four. This is four damage to all. I don't know if this scales with strength or anything. And honestly, this is actually not a bad card either. But I've already got quite a defensive deck. So I think we'll pass, and instead we'll focus on... So what have we got here? Why not upgrade Shrug off? Just considering whether I want to do another event. Or whether I want to fight another enemy. I think it's quite a big decision actually. Because it could mean the difference between getting another card for the final boss fight. Or getting something. But this could be anything. I'm not ready for this. But let's bring it. Oh. This seems good. I don't know what that is. I guess we open a chest. Get a relic. Play one vulnerable to all in. I love this. Bag of marbles. That is an awesome relic. That was... I was it was the right choice. It was a total roll of the dice. But we, we high rolled this time. God, shrug it off. Upgrading that card is actually not great. I mean... It's very defensive, but... But at what cost? So this turn we we definitely just want to do some damage. The next floor, the priority will be actually to put some damage and cards in my deck and to get rid of these strikes defense. Assuming we get by this guy. Which I'm hoping we'll be able to do. Um so we we just want to set up the 15 here. 
I guess this just does more. And this puts him two away from defensive shift. So we can effectively just wait until... Why does he start with nine? Am I losing my mind here? We can easily trigger this. I'm going to start with the shrugger off. And that was exactly why. Well, let's make sure we're doing this in the right order. If we strike that, I'll remove all his armor. I clearly don't understand how this boss works. This makes me. F this boss makes me feel like a fucking idiot every single time I fight it. I don't know what the trigger is for coming out of this form. It's the game's fault. Um, I really don't want to take too much damage on this phase. Might not be. A mm. Playing three bon vulnerable is very good. There's no way I'm not gonna deal damage to him. I can deal forty at the hand. The potions. See, this seems like he's doing quite a lot now. Um, like I said, though, we've got a strong defensive deck. So that's sixteen. I would attack if I knew what the trigger was for coming out of this form. Maybe this buff is what... Yeah, it is. How many turns is he in that? After taking 40 damage, changes to a defensive mode. So we can, we can proc it this turn. Using this. And this will save us 20 damage. I think this is actually worth it at this point. Worth considering though, if we're almost certainly going to kill this boss with relative ease, are we going to defend this turn? Yes. Should we? Yes. Oh, I'm an order and expert now. He's got so many stacks of vulnerable on him that we really don't need to worry about that for the future. We're at the point now where I really want to just. I want to be hidden. It's going to do 16. <laughs> I've just said how I want to hit. But Strike deals 6, but it deals 3 back to me. It's going to deal a lot now, I think. Okay, it's not more than it was before. So let's just go ahead and... I want to get him as close as possible to enter in the defensive mode. Because that means we can proc it whenever we need to. Not like in this situation that we've got going on here. Was he, he's vulnerable, that's why. The, oh, that's why there. Ah, oh, God. This boss confuses me. Um, right, we're definitely not going to waste... Not that we, we couldn't. Either way. We, yeah, this is a smart, this is the right play. Yeah, okay. Out of here. So, in retrospect on that fight, I don't think we needed to use the potion, but we'll get a potion here anyway, and we do. Demon form synergizes extremely well with this deck, but offering also. No, this deck isn't offensive enough to offer. And we need to turtle and wait for that, which is now our win condition. That's a pretty big um, disadvantage, not being able to see the intense enemies. Actually, um, I guess this is the safest option. But with such a small deck, it's really 10 health when you enter a campfire. Whereas, how much health will this save us across the course of a run? We have, no, we have no real draw apart from Shrug it off. Okay, we're trying this. Six cards per turn. I need to be really careful about making sure we are going with a, a more conservative strategy. I think we'll take that early shop. I'm just looking at this 
these paths. Shops are great. The alternative option is this even earlier shop. I'm loving the shops right now. I'm also loving the campfires. We could do blah blah. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't going to be a demon form turn. I don't believe. It's quite a lot of punishment to take just to apply demon form. No, it's not. We can shrug it off. <gasps> great. This is great. I'm loving the extra mana. Once we get demon form upgraded too, we can just make sure we're rolling that internal combo. So I guess, uh, I guess the new plan is that um, we're playing a turtle deck where we gain strength and uh, and chill the fuck out. So I guess we want to just make sure we've got more block than he's dealing in attacks. And then after that we just hit. And then we just hit again. I can't, <laughs> I can't get used to the Velvet Choker. Four, six cards for turn. I'm almost definitely going to forget about that as well. Right. Shrug it off. I don't want to bash this turn. I will strike Iron Wave. I think that's better. Three Vulnerable is pretty good though. Let's go with three Vulnerable. Wait. Right. I'm so confused, man. Is there a <laughs> We've only spent three mana, that's why we've got one left. Well, we can Iron Wave as well then. She deals a lot of damage. God. With the um, cap on cards played, this energy buff is not actually going to be very valuable for us. We're getting a lot of strength already. I think enough to leave them. Okay. Hmm. We'll actually. Oh my god, that's gross in this deck. Oh, this is also gross in this deck. These two cards are both so great, so great. But I think Heavy Blade has the edge here. Right. We now have the goal. We win conditions now set for this deck. So. All we need to do is get the upgrade on Demon Form and the upgrade on Heavy Blade. And then we can we're now playing the turtle deck. Ah. Master of Strategy, exhaust, three cards. That's cool. Bruise five random potions. And then I guess you get to pick three of them. Just removing cards is so fucking good in this deck though. Like we can just remove these crappy strikes, we can remove these crappy blocks. Let me just double check, there's nothing else we want to take here. Huh. Rampage is really good. Such a thin deck. That we're even ah, right ah. in the process of making it thinner right now. Let's get rid of one little strike. As I said, I don't need to I don't need to be we don't need to be clever about this. The thing is I don't know if it, this stacks with itself. I'd imagine not. This card would be better than if it exhausted. Ah. This allows us to exhaust a random card in our hand, which I, I guess we could... Can we get to a shop again on this floor? Yes. If we were going that route, we wouldn't hit as many campfires as we would on this route. And the campfires are incredible. So, is there anything else we want now? No. I'm going with the strategy of keeping this deck very thin. I don't remember what this book does. I know that this event makes you take some damage. So we'll just take some damage. Then we'll get the book. What does the book do? A random power in your hand costs zero until the end of the turn. This is horrible. It's just <laughs> this means that we get a random ass card in our hand every game. Which 
Yes. Yes. Get rid of something shitty. Get rid of uh, a strike. We're so defensive. This is defense the likes of which you've never seen. Oh god, doesn't this guy do it? No. Fuck this, fuck this relic. I don't want random cards in my hand, I love my deck. Yeah, okay. Again, fuck you card. Wait. Power heal too. Nice, okay that synergizes really well, actually. Well, not really well, but, you know. Be good to upgrade these blocks. Uh, of course the priority will be upgrading uh, the demon form and the heavy blade, so that's probably not going to happen for a while, but... Yeah. It looks like uh, we've got an another turn of uh, wounds. I'm not sure I understand the purpose of that card that I played at the start. We're not blocking this turn, are we? So let's just... I believe the effect of... Uh, upgrading strike means that it, it multiplies it by 5 instead of by 3. Am I, am I wording that wrong? Affects it 3 times. And I think it affects it 5 times instead. So these are the crappy fucking... Shady blocks, but... It's actually, it's actually fine. I don't think we care. Let's just block. We just block. I'm, I've climbed this stuff. <laughs> I'm clearly too tired to play this game right now. Uh, right, let's shrug it off. <laughs> I don't get this card. <laughs> Alright. Have we got him? No, we don't. We don't got him. He don't got us either, so... Sail of you. Fuck. Vulnerable. It's just so much shit going on. And we're... <laughs> yeah, fucking die, dude. <laughs> okay. Skills cause zero. How do you play skill exhausted? Surprisingly it does synergize with our, our... Oh. No. Skills, not powers. Alright, cool. Okay, let's begin the process of upgrading some of these shitty cards. Now the question is... Oh, I thought this reduced the cost. Instead, it, it really does improve the card quite significantly. This is our win condition card though. Five times. We've only got one combat between now and, uh, and then, so... Let's go with the Heavy Blade for now, because we do need a way to kill them. We just need a way to finish the fight. Now, I would prefer to fight the Elite, and I think we're strong enough to do that. Um, but I really want this other campfire. AoE, man! We don't have any AoE in this deck! Okay. Do we care, though? Do I have to fucking play this card? It's so bad. Well, is it bad? When you redraw a wound, draw a card. I just don't know why it's good. <laughs> I just don't understand why that's good. The thing I'd say about this deck is actually um, there's a bit of anti-synergy going on. Who's anti-synergy? Huh? With uh, starting by applying vulnerable to all the enemies. But yeah, the deck is actually more of like a defensive sit back and wait kind of style. And that doesn't really uh, doesn't really work together. And we're actually uh, with these enemies, you're kind of on the clock. So let's. Uh, I'll tell you, it's super tempted to take this one, take this one out. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's just the way I roll. What's that one there? Whenever you draw a wind, draw a card. <laughs> Fucking. Is it because all wins make you draw a card? I just don't fucking understand at all. Okay, we shrug it off. Uh, is this enough again? 
Right, who, what does more? 11, 13. And that does 34, so that's 47, 50... 47. Not enough. So let's iron wave. Unless, unless I've counted this wrong. No, I didn't count it wrong. I counted it right. This is absolutely fine. Not taking any damage. Yeah, these guys are a little bit stronger, but guess what? I'm a demon, so I get stronger as well. Way. In fact, I'm gonna get so much stronger, I think I can actually just afford to chill this turn. Because next turn, we're gonna have our heavy blow. We're gonna deal. I'm gonna reach the damage. So let's just be super defensive. Do I have any power cards I can play? Nah, there's none after Demon Form. Does Demon Form not exist in my deck? Okay, I did not realize this about power cards. So, when you play a power card, it's basically exhausted. These cards are not good with us right now. <laughs> yeah, these cards are not good synergy. With what our deck does. Uh, definitely, we're taking that demon form. Right. When the cards are now showing in order. Wow, interesting. This effectively adds another level of strategy to it. I don't think I have any exhaust, so let's just get rid of this guy. This is a, a not a good fight for us because we don't have enough uh, ten. Shrug it off, I think. I think our demon form. That's very frustrating. The good news is we can we can mess up these wee guys. But not with Iron Wave, as we've established. Again, just gotta be careful this six cards per turn shit. Strength. Alright, okay, let's become a demon. Even though it's not great this turn. I think our plan here is just to kill these guys, which you should be able to do quite easily with the strength. Uh, and then wait for a big, big combo in the big guy. Like right now he's just buffing, so fucking who cares? Who cares? Not me. That's who, that's who don't care. Oh shit, he is gaining strength though. Oh shit, he's doing a lot of damage. Was that 36? Right, there's no way we're going to be able to uh, defend through that. Is there? We can gain a further 15, which would put us to 26. This may be a turn to. I really rather wouldn't uh, lose all my health to this one mob, so I think I will actually use my potion on. Although it's such a strong potion. He's such a strong dude. He's now dealing 27. God. We're somewhat on the clock with this guy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him now because I think yeah, next turn we'll get the heavy blade. And he'll be vulnerable. And we can actually output quite a lot of damage. So this is 59. 88 now. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, because either way he's not attacking this turn, so we're just shy, but um, if I recall correctly, these enemies have the trait that causes them to flee. Yeah. What's that trait called? Minion. So let's just strike them, and they're out here. That's a great card. We need AoE. We, we seriously need AoE. Yeah. I don't think Flex is good here. I do think Sword Boomerang 
is not perfect, but it will do. That was our curses. Gain 250 gold. Uh, we can't have a shop. I'm, I'm happy with that. 100 gold is, is very kind of you. I wonder if you can't encounter that event if you've got the debuff. What cards would I want to get rid of in this deck? I guess the three defends are seriously dead weight. And I would quite like another relic would be pretty good. The power heal too. I'm gonna go to the slightly safer route. I'm not a hundred percent confident in this deck yet. I always get this fucking card. And I always don't get the one card I wanna get. Game. There it is. <laughs> damage. But we... I guess we use this. Like, can we heal too? Don't know what benefit it gives us, but it's just 12 of 1 for 1. But we can't elect to take 0 here. Or we can elect to take a little bit. I'm gonna choose to take zero here. I must have miscalculated or something here. Confuse myself. I should have been more dirty. I should have paid more attention to uh, what that order actually is. We'll take damage this turn. It's fine. Our play for the remainder of the game is going to be blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, our play actually is, is not going to be blocked. Our play is going to be... Uh, okay. Then next turn we're going to have basically no blocks. But this, these are going to cause us to draw. Is it because that card exhausts itself so you've got continuously two cards that draw our cards in your deck? I guess it is. This deals a lot. This also deals a lot. He deals a lot. I'm not dealing a lot gonna Bash Heavy Blade is gonna Is that enough though with the block? That's 12, plus around 15, 16, plus, yeah, it's, it's, I'm 99% sure this is enough. And that was good time too. I don't have a way to exhaust that card. The thing about these combats is they actually... Oh my fucking god, does this stack with itself? Does this stack? If so, that is insane. <laughs> what the fucking shit, game? Alright, put your snake power on me. God. I'm gonna have a strong next turn. Well, unless I can't play any of my cards. I can play at least some. So let's Iron Wave for zero. Let's Heavy Blade for zero. 8, 16, 24, 32. Okay, so we're gonna draw first. Fuck. This is this is <laughs> this is why you order, right? Don't do what I did. It won't matter anyway, we've got enough defense to go through. The defense will get us through. So let's just kill him. Okay. 
All right, this is very good. I think cleave is actually better. However, and Spock is fucking awesome too. I want I, I don't want all these cards in in some sense, but in other sense, I don't want to take more than I need to. I'll take this. I mean, they look like a deal the same now, but I can upgrade this when I get to the campfire in one turn. That means I'm not upgrading the block, which means we've got a crappy block in our deck. Let's take this one. I'm thinking realistically, it's highly unlikely that I'm going to be able to ditch both of them. Exhaust. Whenever a card is exhausted, do I have any exhaust energy? I think I've had this same conversation with myself now several times. Well, I'm going to get messed up this turn. Is there any way to avoid that? 21. 15. 15 plus 21. Yeah, I could throw a thing. Or I could throw 21. Or I could go for some kind of half measure and not do the form. Which I'm may attempted to do, because that would allow me to put up 10 block, and also output quite a chunk of damage. I'm not planning on healing. This will allow me to heal. Let's just kill this guy, man. Honestly, we got the kill on him with this. So let's just do that. Yep. Oh, that's what it is. When we kill a guy, we gain mana. And we gain a card. Ah, oh, I now understand. Everything has become clear in my life. God, he does a lot of damage. Nothing that we can't shrug off, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So the question, the pertinent question is, no, there's no question. We get the demon from it. We get the heal off it, and we chill. And we take a little bit of damage. But we accept that for what it is. And then we're sad because we're, we're frail. But we're happy because we've got done the block. We're gonna just chill. Heavy Blade's gonna do a fuck ton of damage in two turns. This is the thing with this deck, we're guaranteed to draw that in two turns. 18, and a negative effect. Maybe we're not guaranteed to draw that. <laughs> 13 four times, so we're going to deal a lot of damage. Not quite enough though. That sucks, we're going to fucking take shit tons. I sincerely hope I won't need to rest when we get to the, the final boss. I say when. We're basically there now. We're gonna heal. 63. I'll admit, it's a little risky to actually not rest. I'll put us up to full health. I really don't want to die. Just thinking about it, we've got, minus demon form, we've got 10 cards in this deck. Therefore, we draw through our deck once every two turns. Upgrading one of these blocks, which we have a 1 in 10 chance to draw. The upgraded block. But if we do upgrade it, we'll play it over the other blocks. We're gaining 3 health every time we do that. And I'm thinking about just this fight in the vacuum because obviously that's um, that's going to be better in the long run. I think with 65 health there's a, there's a high chance we die in this fight. This is a very unfortunate decision. If 
I recall correctly, this guy's pretty strong too. Are you fucking serious, man? Okay. Oh shit, that is way risky. I'm actually astounded if we didn't draw the the one card that I needed to draw. Fuck, can I play this? I mean, if I don't play this, it's gonna be sitting in my deck the whole time. I'm gonna have fuck all cards in the whole time though. I can't play this card. It's so frustrating. Let's just stack vulnerables on this guy. Seriously, corruption. It seems like a this high risk, high reward, which I typically like those kind of cards, it's just it seems that the reward is not. Fuck. Can we make it this turn, please? <laughs> oh, talk about putting me on the clock if I do that. But it would allow me to play my whole hand out. Well, not play me. It may allow me to block 10. So would this potion. But it would allow me to get rid of those things. <laughs> oh god, this is fucking risky, man. This is probably... I say probably, this is possibly a game for one play. Iron Wave, you're gonna save my life. <laughs> Fuck. Do 15, let's kill this guy. I'm just thinking this is it's a lot of damage to you. Sorry, Boomerang. I would need to. No, the RNG is. It's too much. Let's instead kill this guy. Oh! Of course. I'm not playing Shrug off until we actually want to time, so... Sure. Nice. Now we can bash. Some stacks of water. Let's go. We'll have exactly a 5 card deck, I mean. No, we'll have a 6 card deck. Basis of that was chill. We don't want to get rid of the one block from the Fuck man, this is pretty crazy. I don't have any way to draw apart from Well I'm in fact I'm guaranteed to draw through my deck if I want to. Right? We just need to put as much damage as possible here. So that is... This to stack another one. They don't stack. I say stack, I mean just put another one on there. Alright, what, what the fuck are you doing? Your main. It absolutely fucks my life. That's what it does. But... Don't like do some cheesy bullshit and heal it full or something. I, I'll be honest, I, I, I sat here and I insulted that card and it ended up being. <sighs> Limit break. <sighs> Double tap, fuck! Alright, fuck it. <laughs> no. Oh god. Okay, let's try and not open the chest. And start with 5 mana every fucking turn. That's nuts. Uh, okay, can we not open a chest? No. <laughs> 
can we reach a shop? <sighs> oh. This is probably our best chance to... Wait, there's double question marks here. So we're gonna, we want to hit that and that so we can try and get a card removal. Alternatively, one, two. Yeah, we get two chances there too. Or something to negate curses. I think this is a route for now. Did they not get something that was like when you open a chest? No, I'm just losing my mind. No, not chest, sorry. I'm thinking of uh, There's absolutely no way to avoid this, so let's do it. You there. The end of its turn, gain three strength. Does that remind you of me? It's very tempted to put more damage down on this guy, but let's just let's just focus on the kill. Fortunately, uh, our strength cards are going to be crappy this this, uh, this time. I think that's okay. There's no very little point. Okay. Let's just do this. I'm thinking we are quite likely to, to draw something like uh Oh, that's not good. I've never definitely drawn that. I don't want to kill this guy. 29. Six turn random. So we got hitting one hit. Serum with a plus one can be upgraded in the I like it, but it's two, two mana. We, we actually have a lot of mana, though. Not upgrading cards that much. I kind of neglected to think about that, actually. We want to upgrade. Fuck off, curses. We don't need mana saving. <laughs> we should... We don't need heal. I guess... It, I hate this. Fucking... 14 cards. I don't want 14 cards. Okay. Go on then. Come on. I think we can go over that. Huh. Okay. Can I? How much mana do we need? <laughs> oh, we get, we get rid of one of these, don't we? Everything else is so good in our deck. Huh. I do like this card. We're not heading to our shop. Although, do we have an end to negate curses? Take up a draw. Or not. La Lanterna. Alright, we're not heading to our shop as far as I know. We are. We are heading to our shop, I think, right there. Oh. Fuck that shit. Ah. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go do that. Reward relic. Okay, let's do it. We lose HP from the card. I think we'll take uh just do this. And then we'll I guess we'll madness? I don't know if I 
that, that was pretty good. It's actually pretty good to hear. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that, I, I knew it was coming back to haunt me. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually shocked that it took, it took this long to, um, to cause me pain. <laughs> what a bastard of a car. Alright, we can get the exploder. Um, but we'll take some heart in doing it. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here, man. Like, a lot more than I really want to take. Yeah, it's not like these you guys are minions. Plan B. I can kill this guy for sure with the strike. I want the mana to play a whole hand out. Let's defend and go for the kill on this guy so we can get a draw. Sword Boomerang.
These roots are identical, aren't they? No, this one. This one what am I talking about? Okay. <laughs> We've got almost nothing left up, right? Uh, and we're, we're, we're going to hopefully remove that other block with our shit tons of money that we got. Double tap into sword big ring and to basically kill myself. Fuck. Okay, I got really lucky. That didn't actually have any more times. And I need to think more clearly because that was just a big mistake. All right, we're gonna we're gonna just get the kill on that guy. And we're, we're at our six card cap. I quite like to get the kill on one of these guys. I don't believe it's gonna happen with uh I need to watch what the fuck I'm doing here. I'm taking a shit ton of damage here. Well, I guess we'll rest in the next bonfire, that's about annoying. Fourteen damage incoming here. I think I can I can puzzle out at four with that potion, but I think I can actually blow more damage later. Good news is they're both buff in there, so. Double tap. It's gonna deal 28. Let's shrug it off first. This will cause us to take 5. Take the damage we can do. It. I should have played the madness here actually. Good old iron wave. I've not played this card before. this deck, I'm a bit I can ditch this other, this turn, I'm mixed on whether that's actually strong. The truth is this deck is not defensive enough. I think this may actually be uh, to some extent a saving grace. Alright, I'm gonna take my time with this shop. Wow. That's nuts. That's so powerful. Fucking hell, all these cards are so good. Three attacks in a turn and we gain strength. We're playing three attacks almost every single turn. Especially if we remove a card. But heal, heal to fill is just... That's too powerful, we have to take that. I think we'll instead, we'll leave this. Because we need to play a lot of attacks to get some real value out of it. We'll start, that'll cause us to start with it. So we'll, def we'll ditch a crappy defend. We'll take this. And then we'll try and get a bit of cash going in case, just in the off chance we do hit one more shop. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slapped in the face. Do we fight the big guy here? I have basically the full deck upgraded. But what's what's really the benefit of fighting the guy? I might get a relic, you know. But whenever you game block, deal three damage to a random enemy. I, I can kill that guy this turn. And I can play Demon Form, so let's just, let's just do that. And let's play as power turn. And then kill that guy. Wow. That's pretty nice. Gain AoE vulnerable. So yeah, I guess we do do that. Heavy Blade's doing a lot of damage now. Can we get the kill on all of them here? That's just the only stupid amount of damage. GG. That was nuts. Wow. Rampage Plus is really good in this deck. And we can upgrade it. No! It already is upgraded. Can we upgrade, can we upgrade anything? It's also a card draw to the cards. Pummel's also so good. Because if, if we get three strength in demon form, that's 5 damage, it's 20 damage for 1. And if we get, say we get 2 stacks of strength and that's so we'd have 6, so that'd be 8 damage 4 times 16, 24, 32. That's just, that actually just builds up so quickly. We're gonna upgrade Pummel. Yeah, I'm gl very glad we went this route because otherwise we couldn't have upgraded anything here. Alright, now we're doing maximum question marks. this because we've got this last bomb farm to get to. So I can play this, I can game block. I don't think I want to play this. Well, it heals me a little bit. So let's double tap. Watch this. Keep, keep a close eye on that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Wait. What? <laughs> Fuck. I've lost control of this game. I've got no idea what's happening anymore. Uh. Oh man. 
we have no draw, so we should play all of our... This is one, one, three, four, and then we can zero this. Oh man, I don't want to take damage, but... Do we have honestly no way of avoiding to take damage here? Can we kill that guy? Three damage five times. That's what, 15 plus 19? Not enough. Not enough. Also, I'd, I'm thinking now, I would actually rather do this than do this. And this guy. Because I don't want to take like a bajillion damage from him. This way, our heavy blade costs zero, which shouldn't make too much of a difference. We get less blob. But, I don't care because of this. The AoE is good. <laughs> Better than 2 energy though. We haven't really been energy starved. This is pretty gimmicky, but the thing is that gimmick could come in immensely valuable. Uh, yeah, I love Palm and Strike, but man... Okay. Stick around a little bit. Get rid of this Karsh. Lose the Karsh. <laughs> Lose the Fed Plus. <laughs> oh my god. So if we lose... Uh, is that our Thunderclap, which I really like? Is that our own, is Thunderclap our only AoE? God. Thunderclap's so strong. Demon forms are win conditions, so we've not always that. I guess it's defend? We're all out. We're <laughs> de no defense in our deck. Every card is an attack. Well, I mean we've got Rage. We've got the Iron Wave has served us so well. Why couldn't you remove the Curse card game? Metallicize is pretty sweet. Glad to see that. Um, okay, this is one of the ones that I mean, you really need to think about. Because we're limited in how many cards we can actually play. So I think we'll get the Exploder this turn. Just cautious because of how many cards we've got. And we want to play the Metallicize if possible. 58! Fuck me man, that's just a lot of damage. 21. 50. Fucking hell, it's, these all do so much damage. Well, uh, how about just one shot some? Health. You did. And now you're dead. Wow, yeah, that took a lot of damage. Just on the basis that we can, we're gonna play with Metallicize. Purely doing this because we uh, we don't want to take damage from that. Wow. Don't 
care, lol. No. The decision. What do we care about? Weak? Is strong, because we don't have enough block. This is... We can get rid of that fucking curse in our deck with that. I'm not sure. This guarantees the... Near enough guarantees the... Uh, demon form of Terminal. We've never struggled with it with mana. But then, it may set up a big play. I think I'm going to take this, the C in red. And then I'll take the card drop. Although... Just need to be careful, man. I'll instead take the inflict. And keep the energy. And I'm only taking the inflame because... I can... It, it basically is just something to upgrade. Let's go. Don't do it in turn one. Okay, you're doing stuff turn one, that's the opposite of what I told you to do. How many skills do we have in this deck? <laughs> okay. We've actually got some skills in this deck. This is frustrating that we don't have a deep form. You should think card draw, huh? <laughs> Fuck. Regret nothing. Ugh, his hand. Where's my exhaust? A card so I can get rid of this. Bit. Oh, this was so good for me that I you. Once I get to fill my deck up with garbage, of stuff that is actually good, but it's just a little too niche. I don't know what Donut or this guy. I have no idea which one they go for. Since this guy's buffing himself, I've got a feel he's gonna get pretty strong, so. Let's just get let's just try and kill him. I didn't really understand this. I should have taken the card trail. You guys are getting pretty strong. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to try to weak on that guy. And... See, card draw would be really good right now. Because we can... We can make this cost zero. Alright, looks like we're taking some damage. They're both gaining strength so quickly. This is so good. Wait. I played twice. So we can, can we actually get a lot of block off this? Oh man, this is gonna come down to the wire though. They're they're shielding a lot. They're twelve times two. Oh god, that deals sixty four damage. Fucking hell! If only I had card draw. Uh, yeah, fuck your crushes. We can kill this one. 
He's not taking any damage off the board though. Yeah, not only can we kill this one, but actually we can... I'm an idiot. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At least that's what I'll tell myself. Why the, why the fuck did I keep this? Okay. This is a... This is a rather poor turn. Building up. Hundred and forty one. I think I think we got Nice. Let's see how much damage I do. Actually, I want quite a good win streak now. I don't know if the statistics are show that, but I've nearly made these equal. Yeah, it definitely doesn't say. I think I'm on. Oh yeah, West win streak three. So I'm on a three win streak now. So we'll see how long we can keep that going for. At some point, I'll need to get a victory. Silent. I'm just really enjoying playing the hard cloud. We'll, we'll get that sorted. Anyway, see ya!